Ithaca. That vigil happened just steps away from where Justin Root was shot and killed as his family and friends and community members continue to call for that independent investigation. It's been three years since Justin Root was shot and killed by police after pulling a paintball gun on a security guard outside Brigham and Women's Hospital, ultimately leading police on a high speed chase ending here in Brookline. I think about him every day. I think about the vicious way he was killed. The 41 year old had a history of mental illness and since his death, Root's family has criticized the actions of police that day, including the 31 shots fired by six officers, according to a report by the Norfolk District Attorney, hitting Root 26 times. Three years ago, my family started demanding an independent investigation. Not one elected official has stood up. The Norfolk County DA's office concluded that the officer's use of force was objectively reasonable and justified, and a U.S. District Court judge dismissed the Root family's wrongful death lawsuit. But this family and their friends vowed to never stop fighting, relying on each other and the community they built to stay strong during these painful anniversaries. That holds us up, you know, that, that, that carries us through, through this to know that we're not in this alone. I am calling on Justin's former city councilor, Andrea Campbell, who's just been appointed attorney general. I am calling on her to reopen Justin's case for an independent investigation. This should have been done a long time ago. And we have reached out to the attorney general's office for comment, but have yet to hear back. Justin Root's family plans on rallying at the state house on March 11th. Reporting live in Brookline, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.